Hello Youtubers, I'm Parways and this is our 13th video in Learn Django 2.1 In the previous video we have learned how you can add methods in your Django models This was from the previous video In this video I'm going to uh, talk about model inheritance in Django Especially in this video we want to create an example of Jan uh, an example of abstract base class model inheritance in Django so model inheritance is a very useful and powerful feature in Django and uh, uh, there are different types of uh, model inheritance in Django that we can use uh, for example we have uh, abstract base class model inheritance uh, we have uh, for example we have multi-table inheritance we have uh, proxy models and also we have uh, multiple inheritance so in this video particularly we are going to talk about abstract base class model inheritance in Django now let me sh uh, open my PyCharm ID and I've created a new project and uh, also I have created an app at name of my app let me open my models.py okay uh, the first thing uh, the abstract base class model inheritance uh, it is like this is the easiest type of model inheritance in Django and uh, because it is uh, uh, l like normal inheritance if you're familiar with OOPS concept object oriented programming when you inherit from another object you get all of its members plus uh, your own functionality so let me show you uh, for example uh, I'm going to create two models in here so first uh, I want it should be class uh, uh, customer like this and uh, models uh, dot model okay now we are going to give a name for our this uh, customer so models dot car field and for the max length I want to give it 30 and also an email models dot car field and the max length is 30 I have a uh, address models dot uh, car field and the uh, max length is 30 let me just you can give car field but also you can give email field for this okay and also I'm going to give a phone models dot uh, for example car field or integer field you can do the max length is 30 and also I have another model so this was customer for example I'm going to create another model that is my staff model so class staff models dot model and in here I have uh, uh, these fields these are repeated let me just copy these and paste it in here also let me give another field position models dot car field and the max length is 30 so now if you uh, see these two models we have a customer we have a staff and customer we have name email address and also in class we have name email address these are repeated codes and if you know with the concept of dry it means don't repeat yourself so for this uh, in Django we are using abstract base class model inheritance uh, I'm going to create in here so let me just class of uh, contact info and models dot model and I want to add these three fields in here so let me just add these three 
okay let me just copy and paste it in here also I'm going to create a class meta because in here we need to make the abstract to true uh, class meta and the abstract abstract make it to true okay like this now uh, in our customer we are going to remove these models we just need a contact info and we need to remove these three and in the staff I want to remove this add contact info and also I'm going to remove these three okay now this is our uh, model well, if I now if I migrate this uh, let me just uh, make migration so I'm going to create a new session so CD my project change directory python manage dot by make migrations and you can see that we have just uh, Django created a customer and a staff uh, we don't have any contact info model in here and now python manage dot by migrate now it's completed and uh, let me just open my admin from dot models import customer also stuff let me register this admin dot site dot register customer admin dot site dot register stuff okay now let me go to the my admin panel mm, I'm waiting for the okay I need to run my project so cd my project run my server python manage dot by run server and I'm waiting for this and it will take yeah now it's completed let me refresh it okay admin I have already created a super user so let me give my password mm. okay now you can see we have just customers and if you see customer let me add a customer you can see we have a name email address and if I check my uh, staff also I have these fields in there so add a staff I have name email address and position so thank you guys if you have any question please let me know and for the further videos don't forget subscription of my channel